Eve, have you seen Gail? I can't find her anywhere. Uh, she is out of town and she won't be back until, until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. She went to the conference in Rochester. I forgot. What's the matter? Well, it's a little difficult to explain. Okay, well, I won't pry it out of you if you don't want me to, but... Um, you have been a good friend to me. And if there's ever anything I can do for you, I'm here. Actually, Eve, I feel like I'm about to explode. Oh, I've been there. This is going to sound crazy. Well, try me. I've been seeing Ryan. Ryan, your brother who died? Yes. You've been dreaming about him? No, not exactly dreaming. It's like... It's like I'm having visions of him. That sometimes happens after somebody dies. He, he died three years ago. And on top of that, he's been talking to me. What do you think that means? I don't know what it means. That's what scares me. Hey, hey, come on in. So, what's this emergency about? Well, you were busy testifying against Julie. This turned up. What do you mean, turned up? A little boy, Neil Canellas, found it behind a baseboard in one of the rooms of the house. Needles, no telling what's in that vial. This could lead you to the killer. We have no idea that it's connected. Are you sure it's not DL-56? I am clean, Garcia, and I got rid of everything I had. Even if this is connected to the murders, what makes you think it won't point to Julie? She did live here. It wasn't in her room. Then whose room was it in? Eve Lambert's. Mr. Miller's room. Shh. I am Mr. Miller, but you mustn't tell anyone. I'm working undercover. I tell you what, why don't you get back in bed and I'm going to call a doctor. No, Mary, I, 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 I have to... Hi. Lucy, help me out here. What? Uh, Victor's delusional. He thinks he's a spy. I'm calling the doctor. No, uh, that won't be necessary. Actually, Victor was working undercover. He was helping Kevin out with the general homicide case. Well, that sounds dangerous. Danger is my middle name, Mary. Uh, well, I'm just dying to hear about your adventures, but uh, I have to get Mrs. Peterson her meds. Well, maybe we could have a cup of tea later, but remember, all of this is top secret. My lips are sealed. See ya. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Oh, it's just, it's so good to see you getting back to your old delicious self. Well, it's good to be back. Hey, um, does this mean that you sort of got your real, you know, the total memory back? There is Crystal, unfortunately. You and Mark aren't married, right? No, we're not. Well, I suppose I imagine that you were because I want so much for it to be true. Well, I tell you, if wanting it so much to be true made it come true, then we would have been married a hundred thousand million times by now. Oh. <laughs> Victor, I brought you a visitor. Boy, he's popular, this guy here, huh? Well, hello, Mr. Miller. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very fit, thank you. I, I, I have to go. Uh, oh, bye. Please come back soon. I will. I will. Hi. Hi. Oh, yes. Are you all right? Oh, sure, I'm fine. I'm all right. It's just, you know, it's difficult with my father being here. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Well, I should probably talk to him, see how he's doing. Right, right, that'd be good. Um, okay then. Bye. Bye. Let me go. Um, listen, I've been wondering if this is the best place for Neil to 
see growing up. I mean... Uh, he loves it here. I know, but after this whole needles incident and... and... There is probably a very innocent explanation. <laughs> this is a house full of doctors, for Pete's sake. Yeah, but doctors don't hide needles in baseboards. I mean, it's, it's too strange. And this whole thing with this murder investigation taking the twists and turns that it has been... A, I'm just wondering if this is the healthiest environment for Neil to be growing up in, that's all. Maybe you should consider moving. I don't want to move. Oh, honey. Neil. We're only discussing it. <sighs> this is the best place I've ever been. And I want to stay. I think the best place for anyone is where he's happiest. Let me get this straight. You actually like this dump? Yes. <laughs> well, who can argue with that? All right, give me five. Uh, Take it, <laughs> You dare psych out Dr. Joe? <laughs> you better get ready for the scale. It's too horrible to be imagined head nuggies. <laughs> uh, come back here. Yeah. Come here. Get over here. Come here. Come here. Ow. Tell me why you're doing it. Get your hands off me. Doing what? Setting up Julie. Oh, please. Julie seems to get herself into trouble all by her lonesome, or haven't you noticed? We found the vial you hid in your old room. I didn't hide anything there. And besides, if you did find a vial, it was probably some of your old DL-56 that you stashed in there where you were too stoned to remember. It was in a woman's shoebox. A woman's shoebox. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that, that explains everything. I'm a woman. I wear shoes. You got me. Oh, don't be so smug, Eve. We gave it to Garcia. I don't keep shoeboxes, Frank. And besides, anyone could have gone into the recycle bin and taken one of mine out. Anyone could have, even Julie. And gee, that puts us right back where we started, doesn't it? Now you've got this I'm so innocent act down, Patty. But you know what? It's only a matter of time before the cops nail your butt. I missed you. Did you miss me? Good. I think. Hey, did we get any calls? No. Yeah. I guess everybody sort of forgot a, about us at this point, huh? Well, at least I have you, my little ducky-wucky pal. Guess what I saw today? I saw Kevin and Eve hugging. They were actually hugging. My Kevin was hugging Eve. I just don't get it. I don't know what... He sees an Eve. Why would you want to be with her instead of me? Well, thanks. Tell me something. I want your honest, ducky opinion. Do you... Do you really think it's over... between me and Kevin for good? I mean, just completely, totally finished? <sighs> I hope you're right from your little bill to God's ear, huh? Well, hey, you know where I'd rather be. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to be back? The lighthouse with a roaring fire and Kevin popping popcorn, you know, and, and maybe Victor doing his sleuthing and Kevin just being his beautiful Kevin self. But that's not where we are. You're absolutely right. Okay, here we are. We're in a hotel. Hey, what are we going to do tonight, baby? What do you want to do? You want to go um, Mario's from some maybe Italian food? Luke's dancing. You could sit up on the bar. You know how you do and twitch your little tail? Maybe club hopping. What? No. You're right. TV. Okay, we're gonna watch a little tube tonight. That's a good idea. Whoa! Hey! Look at this. Check it out. What is it? <gasps> it's, um, wait, 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 wait. Giganticus 3, Return of Evil. Ooh, this looks good. We don't want to watch any sappy love stories. I don't feel like crying again tonight, right? And I don't know if any ducks get eaten. I hope not. Listen, I'm gonna go put my jammies on, and you just kind of sit here and tell me what happens and fill me in on the parts, and then I'll be back. And we're just gonna have one of our... Good old loose and stinky evenings together, right? Right. You and me, pal. <laughs> Giganticus, Mom. Oh, sorry. I stand corrected Giganticus. Haven't you seen it like ten times? I've only seen it four times. 
I'm the one who's seen it ten times. Joe can recite every line by heart. Oh, great. And there's what, like, ten lines of dialogue in the whole hey. movie? Hey, you better not be dissing Gigantic. That's right. You're in the presence of some serious fans. You better watch hey, it. Sorry. Say no more. I will just sit back and be dazzled by its brilliance. Can I throw one? Mm-hmm. What? You right? Oh. Mm, nothing. Oh. Nice job. Try another one. Stop. I'll get it. Yeah, that's yes. two. All right, okay, let's go for three. Oh, double. Oh, come on. Good Hello. evening. Oh, Hello. Reinforcements oh. nice have arrived. Ah, hey, guys. Someone, I'm here. Oh, the time hasn't started yet. She's just beginning. Oh, good. So he hasn't fought muscles in mm -hmm. It's been a while. I love my kidney <laughs> Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> here. Oh. <laughs> だ、<笑> Gigantic You're no match for me. Ha ha! I'm sick and tired of your reign of terror. I'm tired of you terrorizing all the sweet little peep of Lucioko. It's a two-bit yucky town that deserves to be destroyed. Oh yeah, over my dead body. <laughs> now I know why you got that name of Gigantic Ass. Are those wings real, or are they implants? Oh, ho, 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 I am going to feed the Lucioko people lizard burgers when I'm done with you. And I'm going to rip the wings off of your body and have a Lucioko sandwich because I'm on a high olive fathead diet. Uh, oh, and then I'm going to find the handsome mad scientist who created me, Doc Yiki. Oh, you know, I will convince him that you are not perfection like you brainwashed him to be when I defeat you and tell him the truth! お前が勝つことは分かっていたよ。お前は俺の成功作だからな。Hey, are there any messages for me? Yes, indeed. Oh, goody. It's nice to know there's still life out there. <laughs> Tell you, I've never seen this place so dead. I like it when it's quiet. Oh, don't get me wrong, I like it when it's quiet too, but this, this is like a morgue. <laughs> expression it feels like someone just walked on my grave yes now I know what it means 